What is going on guys? My name is Dustin and welcome back to the Minecraft channel and today guys we started the tutorial of this house. I gave you the dimensions. I told you it is 60 blocks long from that end to the little end of the garage which we didn't get to in this episode but we got pretty much the entire front of the house minus the garage built. Now we are going to be changing this up for my last design because I did mention in the video and in the showcase I did not like how skinny the house was so I want to make it a lot I want to make the width a lot deeper and make it look really cool so that's the plan guys I hope you enjoy just remember to sit back relax and enjoy the video all right guys welcome to episode one of this colonial house tutorial now as you can see the front of this house is beautiful I don't have the actual like all the dimensions because we're gonna be changing the thickness and or width or whatever you want to call it of this house because if you guys watched the showcase you know I wasn't a fan of how skinny it was and I kind of want to make it bigger so that's what we're gonna do so we're gonna do the front for the most part today and uh, yeah that's that's the plan so what we are going to do guys is run through the materials you guys want to have bricks brick stairs dark oak wood logs, block of quartz, pillar quartz block, quartz stairs, white stained glass pane, and some swiftness to make this go a little bit easier. And just so you guys do know, if you're building this on a plot, from this corner right here, that little quartz block, over to here, it is 60 blocks long. Now the house is not going to change lengthwise at all, but width is going to change. So. Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and get started. Find a nice open area. I have a lot of open area as you can see and we're gonna start. So I'm gonna go ahead and place a block of quartz and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my bricks and place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So twelve bricks just like that. And then add one more right there and then you're gonna put a pillar of quartz block right there just so you know that's where the porch is going to start. So what we are going to do is this is going to be I think I believe it is 16 blocks tall let me check my screenshots here hold on a second my screenshots are acting up yes 16 blocks so let me get that pulled up and ready Okay, 16 blocks. So you're gonna go ahead and place a quartz there. It's gonna be two blocks tall, as you can see. And then you're gonna go three, just like that. So that's gonna be three blocks total. Actually, go ahead and you can just take a layer of bricks up right here. So 16 blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there, okay, there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So just to double check that we got that right, this is going to go, let's see, that's that's three blocks, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and yes, sixteen, finish it off with a full quartz block, just like that. So now what we are going to do is go ahead and take our bricks, and this is going to be another layer, just like that. This is also going to be 16 blocks. There's right there 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 14, 15, 16. So you want to bring the porch up even with it, just like that. Or the pillow quartz, I mean, not the porch. What am I thinking? Apparently, I don't even know. Okay, now what we are going to do is we're actually going to work on this porch a little bit. Go ahead and go one, two, three steps just like that. And then bring it out one or three upside down steps on top. And actually, let's go ahead and grab some anvils while we are at it. And just kind of kill two birds with one stone here. But go ahead and bring this pillar quartz up to the same level as that one just like that. Go ahead and take your anvil. Boom, boom. Whoops. Place three anvils just like that. Then you're going to come around the front by placing one, two, three regular quartz stairs, three upside down quartz stairs. And then you were going to go up another 16 blocks with the pillar quartz, just like that. Go ahead and take your anvils, 
Now what you want to do is go ahead and go one, two, three, just like that. And that is going to be steps that are going to go up. So go ahead and bring this up as well. 16 blocks, just like that. And then one, two, three, three upside down. And then go ahead and bring another layer of pillar quartz up, just like that. And then you want to turn this corner and you're going to go one, two, three, just like that. Oh, regular steps, I mean, my bad. Three upside down steps on top. And then go ahead and bring the pillar quartz up to match it up to the top, just like that. And then let's go ahead and place these anvils real quick. Go ahead and place full block of quartz right here. And then do that. So we know that that is how it is going to be. As you guys can see, what we are going to do now is go ahead and place one, two, three blocks in between, and they are going to have upside down steps on top, just like that. And you are going to do that all the way around, just like this, on this level. upside down steps just like that now as you can see I don't know why I'm flying over there now what you are going to do is go ahead and place this again so go ahead and do that place upside down stairs go ahead and do that upside down stairs and as you can see, it's kind of giving it this little look right here. And that is what you want to go for. Just like this. So we can see how long I've been recording. Six minutes already. Crazy how fast time goes, guys. I'm recording this super late. It is currently 1.15 in the morning. And I'm recording this video for you guys. So y'all better love me. Alright, then you want to go ahead and place one, two, three anvils. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. There you go. One, two, three. Just like that. And then you want to go ahead and do the same thing. One, two, and then three. And that's going to go upside down again. And you want to do that on every single part. Just like this. And then we have a little top part that we're going to put on. You guys will see in a moment. So there's that. And then what you want to do is go ahead and place your three steps right across the top again. This like front porch is like my favorite part of the house. And I'm trying to remember how I did it here. Okay, so it is full blocks on top. And then this is like a little design thing that I did. I know it looks really confusing, but it's really easy. So just go ahead and take your full blocks of quartz and you're just going to place them just like this, guys. Boom, it is that easy. So now for these window parts, we don't need the anvil anymore. They're done. For these window parts, as you can see, it is going to be a little bit weird. Well, not weird, it's actually really easy, but basically what you want to do is place a block, then you guys want three upside down quartz stairs, one, two, three, place three blocks, this can go all the way up to there, come in a block here, there's it four blocks in between. How, how is you? How is you? It's three blocks in between. Got it. Then just go ahead and place one there, leaving you three blocks here. And then one, two, and three. Just like that. And then you are going to take one, two, three. One, two, three. Whoa. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Obviously, this is going to go all the way up like that. 
actually go ahead and make this four blocks. Boom, 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 boom. Now what you want to do is go ahead and go regular steps in between. It's just going to give it a nice little detail like that. And then you're going to go ahead and grab your glass panes and you're going to go three by three with the glass panes. Like that. And then you want to go ahead and take regular quartz stairs on top. Like so. And then go ahead and go one, two, three. Just like that with full quartz blocks. And then go ahead and just top it off with full bricks. And I believe this is going to be a regular step there as well. So let's go ahead and top that with full bricks there. Go ahead, just to make it easier for placing the glass paints, do this. There's that. One, two, three. One, two, three. And three. So I'm going to see how I did this little design in here. Yeah, and then it's going to be... Oh, that that's easy. We got this. Go ahead and do a layer of bricks up until that point there. And then all you want to do is go ahead and place bricks in that kind of fashion right there. And it's going to give you this little design that we got going on. So go ahead, place full blocks. Like that. Well, right here. And then right here, you are going to place the upside down quartz again. Just like that. Alrighty, and then this is going to be, you know, full blocks again, or regular stair blocks. One, two, three, and then four. One, two, three, four. Go ahead and grab your bricks here. If I could fly up, that'd be great. There we go. Wow. I never struggled to fly in Minecraft before. And then go ahead and do this. And then you guys already know what to do. It's basically the same thing as the bottom, so really simple stuff. There's that. You were going to then go like this. And then go ahead and just bring that across. Like that, and then go ahead and fill this in with the glass panes. And then that one side is done. And then we gotta do like, fill in the little little porch areas, the little, you know what I'm talking about. You guys know what I mean. So let's go ahead and do that actually. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves. We want, I use stone brick slabs. So let's go ahead and grab the stone brick slabs, right? And to make this easier on ourselves, we're going to take some swiftness and we're just going to build this up. Just straight stone brick slabs. Just keep placing them until they're all on this level right here. Bring it to that point. So let's go ahead and do this real quick just because we got a little bit of time to kill. And it's just going to make it easier. And if you guys are playing and you don't have mobs turned off or... You know, you can't maybe turn mods off if you're on a certain platform. This is going to stop them from spawning underneath your porch and making annoying noises whenever you're trying to play your game. Because I've had that happen and it sucks. So I usually, like, if I don't have mobs turned off, I tend to fill everything in. Or that's what I did do before we had the option to shut mods off on Xbox. Mobs, not mods. Why do I keep saying mods? What's wrong with me? I, well, it is like 1.30 in the morning and I'm extremely tired, but yeah. Okay. So now I should have a picture of what to do on the inside. I do, I do, I do, I do, which is good, 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 good. Um, basically, this is just going to come up to this point right here. So just go ahead and fill this in just straight, you know, brick. Not there. No, don't, don't place it there. Just there. And then take that straight up as well to the top. Okay, so you're going to have a brick here and a brick here. And then we are going to skip, or not skip, we're going to go two upside down quartz stairs. 
like that, and then the brick. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on this side. One, two, and then bricks. I should leave this with three, which is perfect. Quartz block, quartz block. Take out these two blocks right here because we're gonna do something really cool there. It's gonna make it look like a little doormat. So, I believe they are just three blocks. I would assume so anyway. Alright, I'm just checking something real quick, guys. Don't mind that. It is two by three. That is going to go four blocks tall. Perfect. Alright, that's all I had to see. So, what's going to happen is we're going to go one, two, three, and then four. One, two, three, and then four. And then this is going to come up as well. So this is just going to basically go straight through to the top. This is going to go one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. And then this is just going to be a two by three. Like this. And then you want to go ahead and place regular stairs on top. Brick, two quartz blocks. Brick. Quartz, quartz. Brick. Oop, forgot the steps. There. You know. Boom, boom. And boom. Like that. So now for this part. This is obviously going to be your doorway. So what we're going to do is actually let's pitch that swiftness real quick. Let's go ahead while we're here. And you're going to grab a stone brick stair. And you're going to place that stone brick stair just like that. Get rid of that stone brick stair. Then you're going to go ahead and grab some hay. You want a hay bale. That's under decorations, right? Yeah. Hay bale. And then place it sideways right in there. So it looks like a little doormat. See? Pretty cool, right? You're probably like not really cool at all. I know it's like the oldest Minecraft trick in the book, but go ahead and leave your doorway space two blocks just like that. Boom. Go ahead and place a step. And then let's go throw it upside down the stair underneath of it. So it just looks like this. So now what we are going to do um, is we're going to get rid of that real quick. I kind of want my swiftness back. Can I just get my swiftness? Got it. Okay. Um, we are going to go ahead and grab ourselves some snow. So take some snow, guys. Go ahead and take some swiftness. And you just want to fill this area in right here. Let's fill it in with snow. And you know what? This is actually going to look better as a full block anyway above it. So there we go. We kind of want to just fill this whole area in with snow right here. Just to get it done. Boom. Perfect. Um, ditch the snow. Grab yourself some stone slabs again. And we're going to go ahead and repeat this again as the flooring for the next part. So that's good to go. Just about. You don't have to fill in as much here, which makes it nice. And then we're going to build this part up, do the next little wing part. Not the garages quite yet. And then we're going to go from there. Okay, so we have that. Okay, now this is literally the exact same thing um, as the bottom. So go ahead and just do this. Just so you know where that part's going to be. Do that with quartz and then do that. So you want to pretty much bring that quartz all the way through. Except, you know, right here. We're just going to actually just keep that quartz. It doesn't even matter. I don't even know what's going on right, right now. So um, you're going to go brick. Two upside down quartz stairs. And a brick. And you're going to do the same thing. Brick. Two upside down quartz stairs. And a brick. I absolutely... I built this house and I think it turned out really good. I don't know. Just that day I was just really in the mood to build a colonial house. So I guess I just did it. And this was the result. And I'm more than okay with it. I think this house is awesome. I just don't... I just kind of rushed to finish it. And that's why I didn't like take my time on the back or anything. And I really wish I would have. But... Okay, so there's that. That's going to be a little boop like that. And you know, this is going to go one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. And then go ahead and 
two by three, you know. Oh, I didn't do it over here. One, two, three, and four. And then boom, 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 boom. Crap, crap. There we go. Okay, let's place these. Let's get this quartz placed. Let's get this brick. And then go ahead and bring it right across the top here. Ditch this. Grab your snow back. You want you want the you want your snow back, I'm telling you. Snow, boom. Right here on this level. You just wanna fill it in with snow, man. See what I did there? Do you wanna build a snowman? You're gonna have a little one block gap, but you can choose to fill that in more if you want to. I guess you can. It doesn't even matter. Actually, no, we're not gonna fill that in because there's gonna be a part of a house up here. So let's go ahead and just leave that like that. We're gonna go ahead and repeat the same thing on the other side here. So what we are going to do. Did I do that on that side as well? I don't remember because of the garage being there. I think I had to like set the garage back one block to make it work. Yes, I did. Look at that. I'm just making sure. Okay. So basically all you want to do is go ahead and grab your bricks. And you want to place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve bricks. Just that block of quartz. And then you guys know to bring this up 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 blocks. And then you guys already know you're going to do this little design right here. I've done this on other houses. You guys seem to really like this little detail. All the way up till you get to the very top, which the very top one is going to be a full quartz block. So just like, not like that. Just like that. Go away, we don't need you. And then this is going to be... And don't worry, I know like this looks like it's really high off the ground right here, before the windows. Um, I'm going to build little planners out front that you guys will see, and it will make a lot more sense. So, Okay, so now what you want to do is come out two blocks from there, one block from there. Then you have one, two, and three. And then come over here, one, whoops, upside down, one, two, and three. And it should leave you with three blocks in the middle, and you want to fill those with bricks. One, two, three. Just like that. You see? You see how easy this is? It's super simple. Okay. This is going to be brick all the way up. This is going to go one, two, three, and four. You guys have already done this. It's easy. I've showed you the ways. So you can master the ways. This is the first time I ever built a colonial style house. Like this, I, like, I'm pretty sure. I'm most definitely sure that I've never built any other type of house like this before. And I'm really proud. I'm really proud. Like when I built this house, I was like, wow. Like I actually have learned a lot from building with other people. And you know, it's it's crazy. It's crazy how much you can learn in this in this game just by like building with friends. It's insane. Sometimes it honestly really blows my mind. Okay, there we go. And then it's going to be a layer of bricks in between. Am I, am I right? I am right. It is going to be a layer of bricks in between, minus the three in the middle. Which is where we do this little fancy design with the steps here, which you think wouldn't make a big difference, but it actually makes a huge difference. So this is going to be a brick, brick, brick brick and then we're gonna repeat the same thing and then we're gonna end the episode because it's been 23 minutes and I usually don't like to go for super long so there's that I hate placing glass pane sometimes I don't know but about you guys but sometimes they get a little annoying for reasons like that Boom, perfect one two three and um, four I'm gonna pick up City Skylines for the Xbox soon. If you guys are interested in the series on that, let me know because I love City Builder games and I really want to play City Skylines on the console. I played on the place on the PC and I loved it and I want to play it on the console like really bad. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get it and you guys are gonna like it hopefully. I know it's a pretty popular game. 
And boom, guys, that is it. This is what we have so far. Not too bad. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you guys are brand new to the video. As always, I'll see you later in the next one. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.